Hey guys, Liam here. There is a brand new update to Proton Experimental now available to bring even more game compatibility. This includes newly playable titles of The Rising of the Shield Hero, Relive the Animation, and Paladins. There's also a fix for Tekken 7 crashing at launch, and they've improved compatibility for video playback for quite a lot of games that previously required special hacks in Proton, which includes the likes of The Long Dark, Trailmakers, Surviving the Aftermath, Haven Tohu, Hard Space Shipbreaker, V Rising, and more. As always, you find it as a regular update in your Steam library, or if you don't have it installed yet, just search for Proton Experimental and install it. Switching over is easy. Just find a game in your Steam library, go to the little cog icon on the right, to the properties menu, over to compatibility, put a tick in the box, and then just pick it from the list. Once the game's then updated, you're good to go. So here is also a brief look at how Paladins actually runs on the deck. However, there's a note though. With textures set to high, Paladins kind of has a weird bug where lots of things like your characters are actually in like really low resolution. So you need to change that setting. I've put it on very high and it still works really nicely. So here is a short look at the performance of Paladins on the Steam Deck. Five, four, three, two, one, and so it begins. I brought you a present. My finest work. Oh, I feel free. An enemy has drawn first blood. Enemy, double kill. Come and get me! Capture. Objective. 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 Uh, I hate my goal. Oh yeah. Group up. Enemy killing spree. Oh, did I stick you too hard? Enemy Rampage. Remaining. Not yet, laddie. 
Fifteen seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Point spawning in 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I bled internally. <laughs> 